Because television 852 on a Friday. Uh, we're going to get to this baseball story in a second. The one thing we didn't do in the last segment was ju with Julia Grieve was give some light to a pair of the best boots we've seen in yeah, yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, to yep. Julia Look Grieve. at this. Look at these guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody's shot now. Yeah. 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 Oh, there wow. we go. Thrifted, oh, Meredith. You would appreciate these I boots do. are thrifted. I like a thrift. Oh, thrifted. Yeah. You know I like what? a color. I like all that. Thank when you. When I knew Julia. Julia was here, I I didn't even see the boots, but I knew to look behind the counter because every time she comes, she is bringing it from the waist yeah. down. Like yeah. I mean, like you got a skirt on, you have look something on that is amazing. Yes. Okay, and so, so I peeked and I was like, look at those boots. Yeah. Never Let the Never. record show Julia has not left that shot yet. No, no, yeah, no. let it be known. I am not leaving. My segment was over eight yes. minutes ago, Joel. <laughs> One more time for Julia. Yeah. She's amazing. amazing. <laughs> Gotta come out of your shell at some point. Julia. Yeah. That's so shy. That's so shy. If only. Uh, okay, let's get to this one here. Uh, let's get cracking on this story. So, uh, so the LA Dodgers are, are were out in South Korea this week, opening up this, the baseball season against San Diego. Shohei Otani, was he almost a J? I don't know, but it was a fun afternoon in December. He is the one of the biggest stars in the world. That's his former team, the Angels. He's now a Dodger. Here's the controversy: his longtime interpreter was fired by the Dodgers amid gambling accusations. ESPN is reporting that 4.5 million was transferred from Otani's bank account to an illegal bookie in California. Federal prosecutors have confirmed that. Otani initially said he lent the money to his interpreter to cover some gambling debts, not baseball related, but other sports. That story then changed to Otani saying he was stealing money from my account. The story changed drastically. Sports betting is legal in 38 states. California is not one of them. Uh, ESPN is, port is reporting the bookkeeper dealt directly with the interpreter in question, a gentleman named Ipe Mizuhara. Major League Baseball have said they are not looking at disciplinary action towards Otani yet. Uh, I don't have to tell you the history of betting on baseball and the sport of baseball. Pete Rose still has more hits than anyone else in the game and was banned for life. This is a serious, serious matter and a nightmare for any league when anyone at that level is even mentioned in this breath, Devo Brown, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much of an issue does Major League Baseball have here? Uh, if there's a little smoke and possibly a bit of a flame and fire towards Shohei, they have a huge problem. He's mm -hmm. the face of the league right now. Uh, and if he is involved in any way and something like that comes out, Oof, watch out because now you gotta investigate everybody because we just saw that in, in hockey wasn't it NHL and some stuff last Shane, season. Shane yeah. Pinto of the right. Ottawa Senators. Mm -hmm. Or this uh, past season. The yeah. story was a buddy of his used an app like in New York State yeah. and they and they they knocked him down like as half a season for yeah. a suspension. Right. Despite so. the fact like DraftKings and everyone's all over the helmets, which is a whole story for another <laughs> well, day. That's, yeah. But anyway, it's so a big deal. Big deal. I, I, I'm kind of with you. Where you stand on this, man? Well, it just seems to be that, that that flip of the story. It's always interesting when there's one thing said and then there's a bit of a correction, and it's always thinking, well, but we heard the first part, <laughs> and why did that get corrected if there wasn't, like you say, a little smoke, a little fire there? So it seems like the interpreter, you know, that's the easiest limb to cut, so to speak in this situation. Yeah, I'm and with her. They've had a relationship for years, right? The mm -hmm. interpreter and Shohei. So um, it, it is interesting to see that flip, like you said, Mara, but also what MLB will do about this. If, like, transfers were made in Shohei Otani's name to an illegal bookkeeper, is that enough to discipline in the end? And could that discipline potentially be their, like, $700 million, $800 million player just getting cut from the league altogether? I've, uh, look, hockey at times has had some stories. Some of the greatest basketball players of all time mm -hmm. have had some stories. And we don't need to get into it now, but there's some really irregular things that have gone on with some superstars that people kind of look at and go, what was really going on there? But this is the one story I've seen, guys. Like, normally an accusation of, well, you sent money to a bookie. That's speculation. That's conjecture. That's like two reports. This is the one part of the story that's fact. That's the one part of the story no one's now disputing, that federal prosecutors have money going from Otani's account to a bookie. That's not up for debate. And under MLB rules, that's an automatic suspension. Never mind if he was betting on baseball. Then we're talking about 
DEFCON 5. So th this is the, I can't stress this enough, the nightmare of every sports commissioner is something like this at this level. We'll see where it goes. As of right now, Otani has not been charged and Otani has not been suspended. But the interpreter is fired. He's gone. Yeah. yeah. He's gone. So and accused you, of stealing. And accused of stealing after not being accused of stealing. Yeah. Mm -hmm.